what's up y'all welcome to my channel so my name is tiana this is my very first official youtube video so as you guys read by that title we are going to be talking about how to be more confident um definitely that's something that a lot of people are on their self journey to to doing so i definitely wanted to make this my very first video because my youtube channel will be circled around life advice relationship advice and just women empowerment all together so i wanted to make this my very first youtube video just so y'all can really see where i'm coming from you know so of course you guys are new so go ahead and hit the like button if you like it subscribe to the channel if you want to and leave a comment if you know feeling like it <laughs> so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the five tips on how to be so, more confident first tip on to how to be more confident i feel like it's not said enough in confident videos and that is to do your daily affirmations like y'all you have to do your daily affirmations every morning because if you don't if you're not speaking that positivity into your day into yourself is more than just speaking positivity into life itself like um as far as like you know goals you may have for yourself but people sometimes neglect actually speaking positivity and value to themselves as a person like who you are who i am as a person so when you wake up in the morning brushing your teeth and stuff that's when i like to you know mentally do my affirmations start with i am confident i am strong i am beautiful i am not weak I am fierce. I will accomplish my goals. Like start with things like that. And I know you're thinking like, well, we're watching this video because we're not confident. So how can we sit there and say every morning that I am confident? You have to realize you're stronger than you may think. Okay. And I know you hear that often. I know people hear that often. People say that often. So if you're stronger than you think, you have to be more confident than you think. So just because today, right now, in this moment, you're not really feeling like, you know, you're confident, your utmost beauty or whatever the case may be, or even if you feel like a situation has knocked you down and you don't feel as strong as you used to be, that does not matter because first of all, you've already established that it's within you in some way. You know what I mean? So now all you have to do is tap into it. When you do your affirmations daily, you're speaking things into existence. So when you speak things into existence, that means you're speaking that you're going to be um, as confident as you want to be. You know what I mean? It starts today for the future. So if you're speaking that you are already confident, you are already strong and things like that, it's going to happen, let alone if you're working towards it. It's going to happen. Speaking that positivity and value into yourself it, it does it really does more than people think it does it really does it's not just about talking it you have to believe in yourself for it to work as well so definitely first thing you do wake up brush your teeth do your daily affirmations that will make a difference in your confidence level and your self-esteem because you're gonna start realizing like hold on one day you're gonna say it and you're gonna be like i am this like you're actually going to believe that you are these things versus just saying i am confident i am strong like you're you know you just kind of programmed to say it but one day you're going to wake up after saying it for so long and believe it and you're going to be like i'm that bitch <laughs> you know like it's literally going to be forced out of you to say that and to compliment yourself on that because you're taking these baby steps that you feel aren't doing anything but they are so ladies you have to start with your daily affirmations all right so moving on to step number two on how to be more confident you now this step is definitely something that you should be doing if you're around my age and definitely older okay you want to dress up more okay you need to be dressing up more even if it's just going to the store you know you're not really going nowhere and you know, you're not really going to where you feel like you're not going to where, you know, so if I'm just going to the store, who's really going to see me? Dressing up does not come from um, wondering who you're going to see. You know what I mean? Dressing up adds to your presence, not the next person's presence. So if you're just running to the store, don't just always go out in sweats. You know what I mean? I was a victim of that. I would go out in sweats in a heartbeat. <laughs> it's nothing wrong with it but you don't want to be caught doing that more than you're dressing up you know what i mean going out in sweats it should be like a once in a 
week or two weeks or something like that you know just that one day you just literally don't feel like doing anything <laughs> type stuff like that's those those are those days that should be set aside for when you go out and sweats run out and sweats but other than that dress up look nice when you look nice you feel good y'all i just went this weekend and bought me this real cute orange blouse from h&m and it made me feel good i went out and bought me some perfume because i'm trying to get into my perfume collection and when you look nice you feel nice and before you know it you'll find yourself literally making that a habit like dressing up will literally become a habit of yours you're not gonna want to anymore go out just in tights or whatever you know what i mean i can't remember the last time i went out in tights so and it's not to say you want to you know be dressing all like you about to go to you know rip a runway or whatever like that but dress up and look decent that adds to your presence that adds to your your aura about yourself and it lets people know that you enjoy looking good it's not for the next person but it does let people know that you enjoy looking good and you take care of yourself and that little thought right there from others when you know they're thinking that that adds to your confidence boost as well because when you know people looking at you like you got your shit together how can you not feel good about that you know what i mean so do things that will dress up because that will boost your confidence even if it's just going to the store real quick dress up you know like you should be dressing up more than you are dressing down if you're dressing down more than you're dressing up that is a problem you know what I mean? Whether you feel you got stuff going on in your life or not, that is a problem. Okay? So, get up and dress up. Look cute. I know I do. On to step number three on how to be more confident. Y'all. And I feel like I'm going to say this about every step, but this is so important. Self-care. Now, self-care is something us ladies people in general should be practicing every day because it's not just about you know the manicures the pedicures the eyelashes and stuff like that you know those are your pamper days for the most part but when i say self-care we can even go back to daily affirmations you know self-care is internal when you um when you're speaking value and speaking positivity into your life that's self-care that's a form of self-care when you have nothing but positive people around you doing the same thing and y'all uplifting each other that's a form of self-care because that's internally doing something to your being you know what i mean on a positive note um when you have your pamper days obviously that's self-care you know what i mean i'm um, going to get your nails done getting a massage getting the facial just relaxing that gives you so much that you may not even realize like self-care is so important because that really is speaking on your confidence level okay when you enjoy when you take pride in doing for yourself because you want to not for the next person that lets people know that okay i want to do that too then you start affecting others okay you start affecting others in the way they do things but when you start that cycle it affects the, it's like a domino effect it affects the next person they affect that next person close to them that person affects the next person close to them so like self-care is really just positivity like, just look at it like that. Self-care is just you bringing about the utmost positivity you can at that moment without saying much. You know, self-care isn't about what you say. Self-care is about what you're doing, what you do. You know what I mean? So you definitely, y'all, this white boy is really cute. So, so you definitely want to make sure you're um, indulging indulging that's keyword you want to make sure you're indulging in self-care and that's something you should be practicing every day that's something you should be practicing every day because it's it's solely like literally solely important for you to do so if you're not practicing self-care then ultimately you're just leaving the door open for negativity you know like um and i don't want to say just abruptly like you know just negativity but if you're not promoting self-care then or not promoting but if you're not taking pride in the way you care for yourself who is you know like you gotta think of, think about it like that a lot of things that we may want to neglect or tend to neglect 
you know it's like okay i didn't neglected this and it's not happening that's because if you don't take care of yourself nobody else will you're not a kid anymore so if you're not for example if you're not in charge of your happiness if you find happiness somewhere else that can easily be stripped from you so that just goes to show you that no one is here to make you happy no one is here that actually genuinely can make you happy you have to find happiness within yourself okay so self-care taking a pamper days out that is going to help you find happiness within yourself and ultimately boost your confidence because if you're happy within yourself happy internally the confidence is going to follow you know like it's going to follow so definitely you want to be practicing self-care every day and every couple of days out the week you want to be taking time out to pamper yourself okay and i do have another video coming very soon on why it's important for women to indulge in self-care so definitely stay tuned for that video because you're not going to want to miss that one so moving on to tip number four on how to be more confident ladies it's time for us to self start self-teaching okay we have to self-teach ourselves, start learning things ourselves, start learning new information, okay? It's just time. So when I say self-teaching, confident women are always um, learning new things, okay? Whether it's um, new ways to make money, <laughs> whether or whether it's just learning a new language, you know what I mean? Like I'm actually about to pick up on that. People are learning new languages, it's no secret. It's no secret that um, English isn't even the primary language in this country. So people are taking advantage of that. Confident people self-educate themselves. They are eager to learn new information because when you're confident in the information you've learned, essentially when you're confident in information you've learned, that's information that intrigues you. That's information that, you know, piques your interest. So when you learn that information, and you know you know about it now confidently you're going to want to spread that conf that confident value of information that you that you've learned is better when you self teach it because that adds to your confidence level as well because it's like who taught you that i did i learned it you know people be so quick to to just assume which is nothing wrong with it people be so quick to assume that someone did teach you these things y'all yeah, hold my shirt sitting right but people be so quick to assume that someone else taught you these things so when you come back at them and be like i i um i taught this myself reading this book i bet money their facial expression changes now when they assumed when they initially assumed that someone taught you that it was just a question like out of curiosity like dang who taught you that you know but when you come back and say no i read this in a book I taught myself this. I found this information. Nobody else had to give it to me. I found it because I was interested about it. They're going to make a face that's going to give you assurance that, oh yeah, bitch, you do what you're supposed to be doing. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. When you get, when you get to a point where you're getting facial expressions, facial reactions, more so over you know words in a sense that's when you know people are really impressed people can talk all day you know people talk all day but when you just get the facial expression like mm, you we all know for example when we give this face expression it's just like oh i'm impressed like that's an impressed facial expression so when you start getting those looks that's when you know you've reached a level reached a point in your life where you are on the right track to being more and more confident every day. When you engage with other people, each time you engage with a new person, stranger, whatever, each time you engage with a new person, that is adding to your confidence. Because you're taking what you're taking the previous experience and interaction or situation and you're thinking about how you asserted your confidence step by step that's going to all you're going to do now all you're doing now is building on that you're just building on those little stones that you threw out there that you thought sunk and got washed away <laughs> but no that water cleared out that tide rolled out that full moon came in sweetie and those stepping stones never went anywhere they were just waiting for you and you lead the way you know what i mean so don't think these little steps 
um like self-educating yourself learning a new language Oh, that's far fetched. I ain't never gonna actually fully learn French. I go to Paris right now. I ain't gonna know shit. That's fine. You gonna know some. You gonna know how to say your name. You gonna know how to order your food. You gonna probably catch on some little slick words if somebody you know a nearby foreigner probably saying something ill about you. You're gonna know something once you start. That's what it's all about. Confidence. And like anything else, when you're trying to build on something, it's all about the initial start, the initiation. You have to get past that. If you don't get past the initiation, if you don't get past that initial first step, which is always the hardest step, getting started is the hardest step. If you don't get past that, you will never get there. And that could be a mental step. It could be a physical step. It could be an emotional step. It could be a spiritual step. It could be anything. It could be all of those in one that you have to take in order to make the first step. I'm spitting y'all in my bed. But you have to make that first step. And that first step is the hardest. But you have to do it. All right, y'all, because I kind of rambled on step the tip number four. So we're going to move on to tip number five, the last and I don't want to say final tip, but in this video, the last and final tip on how to be more confident. And I feel like this tip is definitely essential, okay? Because if you don't do this or if you don't begin to practice doing this, it's going to it's going to shape, it's going to shift how people view you. You can do all the other four tips, but if you don't do this tip literally, <laughs> if you literally don't do this tip, People gonna have a whole different perception of, of you. You're not gonna get what you should be. Okay, so let me go into it. So tip number five on how to be more confident, ladies. Always walk with your head up and your chin down, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of this before. It's no secret. But at the same time, it's a hidden gem. You know what I mean? Because, and I say that because it's no secret. We all know as women, we kind of learn early on from our parents, grandmothers, whatever. But we kind of learn early on, um, don't walk looking down. Don't walk with your head down. But when we learned it before, it was more like, just look up, watch where you're going. You know, but now as I've gotten older, I definitely understand the true importance on why we were told that. You know what I mean? when you walk with your head up and your chin down and you got good posture it says a lot to so many people it lets people know for one you're present you're here you know what i mean there's no denying that your presence is felt as soon as you walk in the room you know back in school days for example you know we'll be when we walking past a group of people or whatever the case may be, we'll be quick ladies to look down at our phone like we laughing at a text or texting somebody, no we ain't texting nobody. Or, you know, we'll even go as far as when we walking past a, a group of cute boys or whatever, we'll act like we on the phone with our homegirl. So, you know, ladies, we do we would do things like that. When you enter a room with your head up and your chin down, you're letting people know that you're here, you're present, and what's next? Because I ain't here for no reason. You know what I mean? Like, that part of confidence strikes no nonsense when you're confident you tend to be no nonsense and that doesn't mean um you know where you don't you don't laugh or you know kiki and stuff like that i'm not talking about that but when you tend to be confident and you know you are you don't make room for things that waste your time and when you walk into a room, when you enter a room, regardless of where you're at, you can be going in the food line. And you could, at that time, you're going grocery shopping, so you probably got on some sweats or whatever. But you got a cute bag. You got a nice watch. You smell good. We know it ain't no cheap perfume. You got to, you know, your hair done. Makeup probably done too. But you chilling. And you walking in the food line with your head up and your chin down in your sweats. People see that you're just casually out. You're not really, you're not into much today or at this moment, people see that. But but once they see that, that quickly goes out their head because now how you've entered the room, your presence was instantly felt over that thought. So people see that, you know, they're gonna check you out initially, especially other women, you know, they wanna see what you got on so. But regardless of what you got on, the way you entered the room, they already know, oh, she's just chilling. 
because they felt your presence they they for some like it's weird but spiritually it's like they they know how you become it <laughs> you know what i mean they know you a bad bitch at the end of the day you just chilling you running a um fool lying just to pick up a, a green bell pepper for your pasta you got waiting at home type shit like that's the vibes you know what i mean like those the vibes that you're giving off i mean those the vibes that you want okay so when you walking in a room you want to have basically a 90 degree angle it should be a flat surface okay so you don't want to be walking with your head down obviously if you have to be looking at your phone that's a different story but other than that walk across the street walk into a gas station across the lot to pump your gas with your head held high looking straight or scoping out people that's around you staring at you because for some reason i don't know what it is it's the, it's the it's the confidence that they sense i'm telling you i'm telling you it's the confidence that they sense when they see when anyone sees a woman walking in front of people more than a few it don't matter where they at when somebody sees a woman walking in front of people with her head up not looking down not trying to act distracted and stuff thinking that's cute when some when people see that that really that really um does something to them it 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 almost intrigues them it makes them curious because at this point now you now they wondering like i wonder what she do she she look you know she don't care about she don't care about what we looking at she gonna watch she know she look good this that a third she gonna go about her business she ain't worried about the next person that's what you want okay and and literally just by entering a room with your head up and your chin down says all of that when you do that damn the other four tips that tip alone walking with your head up and your chin down in front of people in public and it, when you enter a room with your head up and your chin down that says so much without saying anything okay and you always want to make sure your head is up and your chin is down you don't want to have your head up and your chin up because that kind of gives off snobbish like you're better than people and you don't want that negative connotation around you granted if you like it you do teach it on you want to walk with your head up but your chin down leveled okay if you do that i promise you it will set the tone for everything else you have to do to be more confident okay i saved that tip for last because as simple as it is it's easier said than done i'm still like i've gotten way better ready because i've been on my um confident journey for a good minute now but even still every once in a while i'll get because i have anxiety so i'll get overwhelmed sometimes and i'll quickly you know look down real quick or whatever you know kind of fluff the hair down real quick but i'll tap out snap out of it and next thing you know my head back up and i'm walking level-headed you know what i mean so these five tips on how to be more confident will help you i'm telling you because i literally am the walking epitome of all of these five tips and it's helped me gracefully be the confident women woman <laughs> that i am today and ladies that's what i want for you too so if you're on your journey to being more confident i hope you took notes i hope you got value more importantly out of this video because these tips definitely work and if you didn't get value that's fine to each his own but i hope at least um a good amount of you took at least three helpful tips from this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope i didn't ramble too much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye